Hello and welcome to the 57th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the class destructor. A class destructor is called at the end of an object's lifetime. It is essentially the opposite of a constructor in that it is mainly used for cleaning up instead of setting up a object. For example, when you allocate memory to a pointer, it should be cleaned up when no longer needed, unlike a regular variable that will be cleaned up no up when no longer needed itself. The uh, application would do it itself, which is great box. The points are a lot more powerful hence where you use them, but you do have to make sure you clean up the memory because you're allocating memory explicitly. So let's just show you how to use a class destructor. So what we're going to do is a class vehicle. We are going to be explicitly calling the class destructor, but at the end of an object's lifetime, aka maybe it's declared, we're going to declare in the main, and then once it hits return zero and hits this curly brace, then it will no longer be needed, so it will be cleaned up itself. But like I said, just to demonstrate it, we're just going to be explicitly using it. So we're going to create a constructor called vehicle. Create a, the destructor is the same name as the constructor or the class, but the only difference is you have this little tool, this little squiggly line. Then you put the the class name, which is vehicle. And open close bracket. I'm going to create a pointer. What I'm going to do is implement the constructor for vehicle colon colon vehicle. And in here, all we're going to do is pointer equals new int. So we just allocated some memory, and then in the destructor for for the destructor you do vehicle colon colon tilde vehicle open close bracket and in here to well we're just going to delete a pointer so it's going to do delete pointer and that's simply what we're going to do is create an object of vehicle it's going to call it BMW we're going to do asterisk BMW dot pointer equals fifty six STDC out Asterisk BMW dot pointer and line, and if you run this, it prints out 56, which is great. What we're going to do after this is call the destructor so BMW dot tilde vehicle open class bracket semicolon, and I'm simply going to copy and paste this, but just print it after we call the destructor so you can see what happens. So if we just run it. And obviously it crashes because the memory has been deleted, but we're still trying to access it. So if we just comment this out. It's moaning about that. Delete pointer. I think I need to do pointer equals no. Yeah, that's run successfully. You have to sign it no first. So let's just add this line back in. And we get an error here simply because we have obviously called the destructor. So BMW like no longer exists. You can uh, think of it that way. And obviously the pointer no longer exists. That's it for this part of the series. Um, I mean, yeah, this part of the series. Things to take away, destructor used for cleaning up. Destructor is called itself at the end of an object's life, but you can call it yourself if you want to. Delete memory when no longer needed, and the destructor is a great place to do it unless you want to do it somewhere else and you're aware of what you're doing, so just be careful. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at the class copy, st copy constructor. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.